Snakes swallowing their prey itself can be super scary. But what about snakes eating other snakes? Cannibalism can be quite taboo in the human world, but in the animal kingdom? we see so many instances of it. It is even more fascinating when it comes to snakes. Have you heard of a snake swallowing a snake? Welcome back to our channel, and today we'll see some fascinating situations of snakes swallowing other snakes. First, let's see which are the snakes that eat other snakes. After which, we will discuss the various reasons that snakes tend to eat each other. Number 1. King Cobra the scientific name of King Cobra is Ophius fagistana, and they are seen in many parts of India, Southern, and Southeast Asia. Interestingly, the scientific name for King Cobra actually means snake eater. Their diet consists almost entirely of snakes, although they also eat large lizards like monitor lizards. They are active forager or hunters and will chase down a snake once they pick up the scent. We thought they were already scary because of their deadly venom, but imagine them scaring other snakes too. Number 2. King Snake These are found all through North America to the northern tip of South America. They also eat only snakes. This is such a common occurrence that they are thought to have developed an immunity to the venom of other snakes, which allow them to eat even the scary rattlesnakes. Number 3. Coral Snakes These species belong to the same family as King Cobras, Krites, and Cobras. They also eat smaller snakes and other reptiles. Number 4. Cochwip These are highly non-venomous snakes that are found in dry habitats and are super quick to chase and eat other snakes whole. Number 5. Krites These are very powerful and common in Asia. They are super venomous and can bite and eat other snakes. They even scavenge and eat dead snakes. Number 6. Indigo Snakes These are also non-venomous snakes seen in the U.S. They are not very picky and can eat snakes and small reptiles. Despite not being venomous, they can eat and digest venomous snakes easily as they are immune to most venoms like rattlesnakes. Number 7. Cottonmouth Snake they are also called water moccasins and are members of the venomous pit viper family seen in the U.S. They are often seen near aquatic habitats. They have an epic hunting style where they sit and wait to ambush any prey that approaches them. Then they quickly bite the prey which consists of fish, mammals, rodents, frogs, even newly hatched alligators. They don't spare other snakes either. The cottonmouths have also known to cannibalize other cottonmouths. Quite scary, isn't it? A few other snakes that eat other snakes are the garter snakes, corn snakes, and cobras. Interesting, isn't it? Why do they do this? Snakes tend to have special diets that are completely provided when they have ophiophagy's properties. Ophiophagy is when snakes are eaten, and this is very common in the snake kingdom. Some species, in fact, prefer this over eating other animals. Number 1. For Dietary Requirements Snakes are classified as generalist carnivores and will eat anything they can get at. They also don't have a problem eating carcasses of snakes that they come across. Cannibalism in snakes was always common. The bodies of snakes house a lot of proteins and fats, hence, some snakes may prefer them as a good source of nutrition. Number 2. Behavioral Instincts There is data that shows that only males killed and ate each other, whereas females were not involved. In times like these, the more dominant male eats up his weaker opponent. It is a natural way to eliminate the weaker members. Males also tend to kill and consume the unrelated young of a female so that she goes back into heat to ensure reproductive success with him. This occurs as a form of survival of the fittest to ensure healthy offspring are passed on. Number 3. Maternal Cannibalism Female snakes are known to eat those who are stillborn or were never viable after live birth. There are a few possible reasons why female snakes would also eat their young. They sometimes eat to clean the nest and prevent diseases from spreading to her remaining babies or to prevent the smell from attracting a predator or so as not to waste resources. This is often seen in a high-risk environment. Number 4. Competition we know every member of the animal kingdom has proper competition with other members of the species for resources and habitats. This also occurs in the forest and in the wild between various species of snakes. This is brought out of two snakes who are probably chasing the same bird or rodent and they come face to face. There would be a proper showdown and generally, the quicker and larger candidate wins. 
the winner tends to eat the defeated snake. There are even cases of pet snakes fighting where the larger snake eats the smaller snake. So, ophiophagy has been linked to size and sharing of resources too. Often, two snakes have to duel the competition out due to scarcity of resources, so ophiophagy is an innate instinct in snakes. Scary, isn't it? The methods of snakes eating other snakes have also been fascinating to scientists and researchers as despite being rare, there are cases of smaller snakes poisoning and eating larger snakes. This aspect has been very fascinating as this is thought through some complicated mechanics of folding the prey's body precisely. All in all, cannibalism has rapidly been seen in other members of the animal kingdom like in spiders, insects, and etc. Snakes are no exception for sure. What do you think of snakes in ophiophagy? Do you know more about this phenomenon? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends for more interesting news, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Hit the bell icon button to not miss an update from our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned!